All right, back to the markets, please, because I still see quite a lot of red ink, especially for that NASDAQ. Look at it go down 1.3%. All right, uh, let's bring in David Barnson, man of the hour. Uh, you say that the markets, uh, the, the financials and energy were the dogs of 2020, and you say now they are the darlings of 2021. Make your case, David. Well, I, I I only have to look at the numbers, right? I mean, they really were very out of favor of sectors last year. Uh, both sectors started to pick up late in the year, but um, clearly through the pandemic, they were the areas that struggled the most, and they're the leading sectors so far this year. Energy has been an absolute tear. There's nothing uncommon about that. Very often, laggards one year are leaders the next. I think this is a really important theme right now with all of the conversation about rotation, people talking about growth to value, uh, people even talking about the so-called work from home stocks versus kind of the reopening stocks. I think all of those categories are helpful and interesting, but I don't think it captures the heart of the matter. I think more than any other classification of what was really doing well versus what now is going to do well, it's the unloved versus the new loved. What was unloved last year becomes the newly loved this year. Financials and energy are one example. I think there's going to be more going forward. Are you worried about the overall state of the market? It appears we've, we've gone run up and run up and run up and we've hit record highs, a nice series of them earlier this year. And now there's a retreat across the board. There is something of a retreat. Is it a turning point, David? Well, first of all, Stuart, you ask if I'm worried, and I think it's a really important word, because if someone is worried about it, they may not fully understand what it means to be a stock market investor. This kind of volatility, this kind of uncertainty, it's the very basis for the premium one gets in their return as a stock investor over time. So it's not just that I'm not worried about it, I'm excited about it. If there were no volatility in stocks, the return we would get would be much lower. But I have been saying for a long time, and I was clearly quite early to this conversation, that big tech was very overvalued. And, and popularity contest can go on for a long time, but there was a disconnect from value and reality. I don't know how that plays out from here. We're not personally invested in the kind of big tech, new tech type names. So I'm not worried about it, but I do think that equities have a rich valuation, but you can justify it to some degree. I would just rather focus, and here I go, on the dividend growing names. I think yeah. that it gives you a better risk adjusted return profile going forward. Got it. And that's what you specialize in. And that's how you've made quite a lot of money. David Barnson, thanks for joining us. Appreciate it always, David. Thank you very much.